overview of programming language. Its content includes the following. Pioneers in programming, evolution of programming language, generation of programming language, programming language mode of execution, and references. At the end of this presentation, you will learn to enumerate and explain the levels of programming languages, familiarize the pioneers of programming, identify the evolution of programming language, describe the difference between low-level and high-level language, and analyze programming language modes of execution. Pioneers of Programming Charles Babbage, who was born in 1791, is regarded as the father of computing because of his research into machines that could calculate. Babbage's difference engine number one was the first device ever devised that could calculate and print mathematical tables. Charles Babbage invented the analytical engine. His companion, Ada Gossa Lovelace, is considered the first programmer in history. Ada Gossa Lovelace, who is an English mathematician, has been called the first computer programmer for writing an algorithm for a computing machine in the mid-1800s. The first high-level language to have an associated compiler was created by Karadabum in 1951 for his PhD thesis. The first commercially available language was Fortran, that is formula translation, and developed in 1956, but first developed in 1954 by a team led by Jan Bacchus at IBM. The first functioning programming languages designed to communicate instructions to a computer were written in the early 1950s. John Mosley's short code, proposed in 1949, was one of the first high-level languages ever developed for an electronic computer. Evolution of Programming Language Early programming languages start from 1951 to 1967, and we have Regional Assembly Language, AutoCAD, IPL, for runner to list or origin of list, Plomatic led to COBOL, Fortran, first compiler, Comtran, precursor to COBOL, Lisp, Agal 58, FACT, for runner to COBOL, COBOL, RPG, APL, Zimola, Snowball, CPL, Speak Easy, BZEC, PL1, Jazz, MAMS, and BCPL. Establishing Fundamental Paradigms a programming paradigm is a fundamental style of computer programming. Paradigms differ in the concepts and abstraction used to represent the elements of a program, such as objects, functions, variables, constraints, and etc., and the step that compose a computation, assignment, evaluation, continuations, data flows, and etc. The period from the late 1960s to the late 1970s brought a major flowering of programming languages. Most of the major language paradigms now in use were invented in this period. BCPL, Forerunner to B, Logo, B, Forerunner to C, Pascal, Fort, C, Smalltalk, Prolog, ML, Schem, SQL. 1990s, the Internet Age. The rapid growth of the Internet in the mid-1990s was the next major historic event in programming languages. By opening up a radically new platform for computer systems, the Internet created an opportunity for new languages to be adapted. And we have Haskell, Python, Visual Basic, Lua, R, Class, Ruby, Ada95, Java, Delphi, JavaScript, PHP, and Rebol. Current Trends Programming language evolution continues in both industry and research. Some of the recent trends have included ActionScript, C Sharp, D, Scratch, Groovy, Scala, F Sharp, PowerShell, Clojure, Go, Rust, Dart, Kotlin, Elixir, Julia, TypeScript, and Swift. Levels or Generations of Programming Languages Types of programming language, we have the low-level language and the high-level languages. Low-level programming language is a programming language that provides little or no abstraction from a computer's instruction set architecture. Commands or functions in the language map closely to processor instruction. 
low-level languages are sometimes described as being close to their hardware. Low-level languages can convert to machine code without a compiler or interpreter. The processor runs low-level code directly. Generally, this refers to either machine code or assembly language. Is low-level language still in use? Programmers still use assembly language when speed is essential or when they need to perform an operation that isn't possible in high-level language. Some examples where low-level are still in use. Writing games or a simulation program. Writing operating systems. Programming robots. Computer viruses, certain device drivers, or other items very close to the hardware or low-level operating system. Types of programming language. Next is the high-level programming language. High-level languages are written in a form that is close to our human language, enabling the programmer to just focus on the problem being solved. These programmer-friendly languages are called high-level as they are far removed from the machine code instructions understood by the computer. High-level programming languages use natural language elements that is easier to use or may automate significant areas of computing systems, making the process of developing a program simpler and more understandable. Comparison between low and high-level programming language. In left column, we have the high-level language and at the right column, we have the low-level language. And high-level languages are near to human languages, while in low-level languages are far from human languages. High-level languages do not provide much facility at hardware level, while low-level languages provide a facility to write programs at hardware level. Deep knowledge of hardware is not required to write programs in high-level language, while in low-level language, deep knowledge of hardware is required to write programs. High-level languages are normally used to write application programs, while in low-level languages are normally used to write hardware programs. Programming language structure. Programming language has two types, the low-level languages and the high-level languages. Under low-level languages, we have the machine language, the assembly language, and the high-level languages includes third-generation languages, fourth-generation languages, fifth-generation languages. First-generation programming language, or 1GL, and that is machine language that uses zeros or ones, the lowest level of language. The instructions in 1GL are made of binary numbers represented by 1s and 0s. The 1s and 0s correspond to the on and off states of electrical switches. Machine language is the only language a computer understands. It is almost impossible for humans to use because they consist entirely of numbers. The native language of the computer, the set of symbolic instructions in binary that is used to represent operation and data in a machine. Second generation programming language or 2GL, and that is assembly language that uses mnemonics. This low level language allows a programmer to use abbreviations or easily remembered words instead of numbers. These observations are called mnemonics. This mnemonic are opcode and operands. In the sample code, it is composed of opcode and operand, and the opcode are ADD, MOB, and INC, and the operands include AX, BX, and CX. Assembly language is the best example of low-level language. Programmer can write instructions faster, but it is still not an easy language to learn. It uses Assembler, a program that translates the assembly language program into machine language. The figure shows an assembler that translates assembly language into a machine readable code that is ones and zeros. Third generation programming language or 3GL, and that is high level languages that is procedure oriented or object oriented. A high-level language is an English-like language. It is a refinement of a second-generation programming language. It allowed a user to write in familiar notations rather than numbers or abbreviations. 
Most high-level languages are not machine-dependent. It uses translator, either a compiler or an interpreter, a program that translates high-level language into machine-readable form. Such, for example, Algol, Fortran, COBOL, BASIC, C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Delphi, and many others. Third generation programming language or PORGL, and that is very high level languages. The term very high level languages was used in the 1990s for what are today more often called high level programming languages, used for scripting such as Perl, Python, Ruby, and Visual Basic. Non procedural language programmers don't have to specify all the programming logic only tell the computer what they want to do. For GLs are much more user-oriented and allow programmers to develop programs with fewer commands compared with 3GLs. And using 4GL saves a lot of time. 4GLs consist of report generators, query languages, application generators, and interactive database management systems. The following example shows below. Fifth generation programming language or 5GL, and that is natural languages. Natural language has two types. We have ordinary human languages like English, and programming language that uses human language to give people a more natural connection with computers. 5GLs are designed to make the computer solve a given problem without the programmer. Natural languages are part of the field of study known as artificial intelligence. Developed machines to emulate human-like qualities such as learning, reasoning, communicating, seeing, and hearing. Examples of fifth-generation language include Mercury, OPS5, and Prolog. Some programming languages and its description. For example, the ADA. ADA was created in the 1970s primarily for application use by the U.S. Department of Defense. The language is named in honor of the Countess Ada Lovelace, an influential and historical figure in the field of computing. BASIC BASIC stands for Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. It's a general-purpose language that was originally designed in the early 1960s to be simple enough for beginners to learn. Today, there are many different versions of BASIC. Fortran, Formula Translator, was the first high-level programming language. It was designed in the 1950s for performing complex mathematical calculations by a team led by Jen Bacos at IBM. Next language is COBOL. Our common business-oriented language was created in the 1950s and was designed for business applications. Pascal. Pascal was created in 1970 and was originally designed for teaching programming. The language was named in honor of the mathematician, physicist, and philosopher Blaise Pascal. C and C++ C and C++ are powerful, general-purpose languages developed at Bell Laboratories. The C language was created in 1972, and the C++ language was created in 1983. C Sharp this language was created by Microsoft around the year 2000 for developing applications based on the Microsoft.NET platform. Java. Java was created by Sun Microsystem in the early 1990s. It can be used to develop programs that run on a single computer over the internet from a web server. JavaScript. JavaScript created in the 1990s can be used in web pages. Despite its name, JavaScript is not related to Java. Python Python is a general purpose language created in the early 1990s. It has become popular in business and academic applications. Ruby Ruby is a general purpose language that was created in the 1990s. It is increasingly becoming a popular language for programs that run on web servers. 
Visual Basic. Visual Basic, commonly known as BB, is a Microsoft programming language and software development environment that allows programmers to create window based applications quickly. BB was originally created in the early 1990s. Execution Modes of Programming Language Translator Translator is a computer program that translates one programming language instruction into another programming language instruction. The source code is the code written either in assembly or high-level language. The three types of translator. For low-level languages, we have the assembler and for high-level languages, we have compiler and the interpreter. This translator translates low-level languages and high-level languages into machine-readable code, the zeros and ones. Assembler Assembler normally converts assembly language's source code into machine language. It implements a symbolic representation of code. An assembler is a program that takes basic computer instructions and converts them into a pattern of bits that is zero and one that the computer runs to produce a result. Compiler Compiler is a program that compiles source code into executable instructions that a computer can understand. It compiles code and produces in exe format before it run. Example such as ADA, Algol, Basic, C, C++, COBOL, Java, Visual Basic, and many others. Interpreter. An interpreter is a program that executes programming code directly. Interpreter can convert a source code usually on a step-by-step, line-by-line, and unit-by-unit -unit basis into machine code. Interpreted languages are read and then executed directly with no compilation stage. Examples such as JavaScript, Perl, Python, PHP, PowerShell, and many others. Compiler versus Interpreter mode of execution The figure shows how compiler versus interpreter translate source code into machine language, the zeros and ones. In compilation, a compiler reads the entire program or the source code into executable instructions that a computer can understand. It compiles code and produces an XE format before it runs. However, the compiler is the only program and cannot fix errors found in that program. So if you make a mistake, you need to make changes in the syntax of your program. Otherwise, it will not compile. On the other hand, interpreter reads a program line by line, reading every expression and execute directly, with no compilation states, then gives output if the program is correct. The following are the references.